Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, right, guys. Let's have a quick look at the demoscopic features of a benign melanocytic nymphs or a benign melanocytic mole. So usually in the clinical parlance, you'll find that mole is a terminology that is used very loosely to describe most skin lesions. So your patient will tell you they've got a mole on the skin and they want you to have a look. Uh, so it could be benign, it could be malignant, you probably wouldn't know until you've had a look. So mole is a term that is used loosely. Um, but to be more specific in this video, I'm using the term benign melanocytic nervous because that's what we'll be looking at. So what are the features of a benign melanocytic nervous? When you place your demoscope on a lesion, what are those features that you would see that would say, oh yeah, this is very likely um, a benign melanocytic nervous? From the name, benign means it's harmless, which means it's non-cancerous. Um, melanocytic means, you know, it's a pigmented lesion, um, pigmented because of the presence of uh, melanin, okay? So one thing you will quickly, you, you will notice is there will be symmetry. So it will be a symmetrical lesion, which means if you draw an imaginary line through that lesion, it's going to divide that lesion into nearly equal halves. So it's going to be symmetrical, usually to, be, to have a homogeneous pigmentation, which means the level of pigmentation will usually be uniform. Okay, you may have one level of pigmentation, sometimes two, but usually you will notice that uniformity or homogeneity in pigmentation. The good presence of brown dots and globules, um, especially in young people when these moles are, may still be growing, you might notice some dots and globules. And it could have a reticular pattern, have a few blue gray structures, regular streaks. So it could have streaks, usually a streak or, or you know, the reticular patterns usually be uniform. And there could be some regression structures. Remember when we looked at the demoscopic findings in, in basal cell carcinomas and even in melanomas, we found that you could have some, um, some regression structures, which usually um, you know, um, suggests um, you know, destruction of, of skin or of the melanocytes or the skin tissues in those areas and replacement by fibrotic tissue. So in some cases, you could have a few regression structures in benign melanocytic nervous. And that's where you begin to have some confounding. So that may be a confounding present or a confounding feature that might make you really want to excise that lesion and have a histological confirmation. So looking at this lesion, you know, this photo is so snipped from the internet. Most of the other photos in this video, in this demonstration, were snipped from Demnet. Um, so that's just for copyright. Um, sake, I have to say that. So looking at this lesion, what can we see? This lesion looks pretty symmetrical. If I draw an imaginary line through it this way or this way or one diagonally, I'm going to divide this lesion into two equal halves. If you look at this lesion, it has a reticular network. It looks like a net. So that's what reticulation means. So it has a, it's pigmented, first of all. So you darker than surrounding skin, you can see this pigmented lesion. Is symmetrical. If you divide it into two, it gives you two equal halves. It has a regular margin. If you look at the margin, it looks pretty regular. It has this uniform level of pigmentation. So it is, these halos here, you can see these are the openings of the hair follicles. But if you exclude these halos, you will see that the, the pigmentation, the brownness is uniform. And it has a reticular pattern. It has a uniform reticular pattern, or a regular uniform in a reticular network. So this is already, when you place your demoscope on this lesion, it just confirms that this is a benign melanocytic nevus or more. Let's have a look at this lesion. You can see presence of some globules, dots and globules at the periphery. This likely may be benign melanocytic nevus in a young person. So this lesion is still, is still growing. It's a benign lesion, what is growing? So what makes you think it's been If you look at this lesion, if you draw an imaginary line, it divides it into so it's symmetrical. If you draw an imaginary line here, divides it into two symmetrical halves or two equal halves. So the symmetrical lesion has a regular margin. Okay, you can see the surrounding skin. The margin looks regular. Okay. The level of pigmentation appears to be uniform, even though there's a slightly darker, a few 
you know, areas that are darker, but in, what in, in general, this lesion looks homogeneously pigmented. If you notice any features that make you doubt, then you, so if you notice, this is, this is purely a benign luminosity in your there's really nothing that makes you want to doubt that in this lesion. This is a pigmented lesion because it's darker than the rest of the skin. So it's a pigmented lesion. Um, it looks pretty symmetrical, to be honest, even though there are a few extensions in this lower pole of the lesion. But if you draw a line, an imaginary line through it, if you draw another imaginary line through that, divide it into two nearly equal patterns. The most important thing you will notice is that there's a uniformity or homogeneity in the pigments, in the, in the appearance, in the level of pigmentation appears fairly homogeneous, even though there seems to be some regression, some paleness in the, within the central area. Yeah, there's to be a little bit of regression there. But overall, this looks homogeneous. It looks symmetrical. The pigmentation is homogeneous. The appearance generally is homogeneous. This is a benign melanocytic nevus. Let's have a look at this one. This the presence of globules, pigmented globules. So if they are smaller, they would like when I call them dots, or they are lumpy in quotes. Pigmented globules for this lesion, the margin is a regular, regular margin is symmetrical. Let's draw an imaginary line there or there. It divides it into equal halves. The level of pigmentation appears uniform. Nothing is really screaming at you as different. Some regression there, you can see absence of those globules in the area. So there's a presence of a few of some regression there, regression structures are present. Um, overall, you'll say benign melanocytic nevus. This is a lesion, looks completely benign, regular margin, symmetrical. If I divide this into two, it's symmetrical. If I divide this horizontally, it's also going to give me two equal halves. The level of pigmentation is uniform, okay? Uniform or homogeneous pigmentation. Um, not clearly reticular, a few reticuli, a little bit of netting or reticulation, reticular network on the periphery there. But this is clearly, you know, a benign melanocytic nevus. Same thing as this benign melanocytic nevus, this is a reticular network, big reticulations, you know, wide reticulations. Can see if you divide this lesion into two, it's so this is a symmetrical lesion. If you divide it into two, it gives you equal halves. The pigmentation is homogeneous, which means if you look at it, the, 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 the density of the pigmentation appears uniform all throughout this lesion. Um, yeah, nothing is standing out that makes you want to think this is potentially a melanoma. No, so this is clearly a benign melanocytic nevus. This is also a benign melanocytic nevus. It's a raised nevus. So most, most nevi, you know, would be flat, okay, flat pigmented lesion. But sometimes you could have a nevus that looks like a cissi polyp. So it looks like a polyp that has a broad base. Okay, it looks like a cissi polyp. When you rub your thermoscope on that nevus, you're going to see that the, the nevus, you know, rolls. It rolls on, it, on your thermoscope. So that's what you see. Okay, so people, sometimes when I see this kind of nevi, I classify it as a sessile. I usually describe them sometimes as sessile skin, skin, skin tags. You know, but the most important thing is when you look at this lesion, there's nothing that appears malignant. There are no uprising blood vessels. You know, there's a uniform vasculature around it. Okay, nothing is really standing out. So you could describe this as a raised nevus, or you could describe this as a sessile uh, skin tag. Good. So this lesion has two, you can see it has two, two, two levels of pigmentation, or even three. But the most important thing in this lesion is that it is symmetrical. So usually ask yourself first of all, what is the symmetry? Was the pigmentation the regularity, you know, and if it's if it's a reticulated if it has a reticular network or a reticulated lesion, is it uniform? This you look at the net-like structures, you see that it appears uniform. If you divide this lesion horizontally, it gives you two equal halves. If I divide it vertically, it gives us fairly two equal halves. 
you notice that there's a different level of reticulation in the central area of this lesion, but overall it looks uniform. Okay, it has a uniform appearance of pigmentary, you know, reticulation, reticular network. So this is actually a benign melanocytic nevus. This one looks like a palm of the hand or the sole of the feet. You can see those crazies, most likely either the palm or the hand or the sole of the foot. Okay, but overall looks regular margin. Okay, so it's a regular margin. Very fairly homogeneous, you know, homogeneous level of pigmentation, symmetrical. If I draw a line, divide it into two halves. If I go horizontally into relatively two equal halves, nothing is standing out that makes me think this could be a melanoma. And this takes us back to the first photo we looked at just to summarize. So things that you commonly look out for is the symmetry of the lesion. Is it symmetrical or asymmetrical? This lesion is symmetrical. Benign melanocytic nevi nev are usually symmetrical. It means if you divide them into two halves, um, into, you, know, you get two equal halves. Um, it, this is a reticular, it has a reticular network, like, you know, the nets, like a mesh. And it has a uniform, homogeneous reticular network. Um, the level or density of the pigmentation is homogeneous or uniform. So these are things that usually tell you that um, this is very likely a benign melanocytic nevus. So if you watch this video and then go back and watch the features, watch the video on the hematoscopic appearance of a melanoma and place them side by side, then you really um, appreciate the difference, you know, uh, in terms of making that, giving you a lot of diagnostic clue as to whether you need to be worried about a lesion or not. So this video has been helpful. Kindly like, um, you could leave a comment, um, subscribe to my channel uh, because uh, very shortly there will be a steeple chase or a spot diagnosis, demoscopic spot diagnosis video that will be coming out very shortly. Thanks for your audience and all the best.